Hey fam! So welcome to another video. Uh, so supposedly this is supposed to be a motivational Monday video, but then um, since you know it's quarantine period, just being at home all the time, it's hard for me to really get inspiration to do a motivational Monday. So what I'm gonna do in this video is things you can do during the quarantine period. So if you've watched my pre previous video, I said there how I'm going to be taking a social media break for two to three weeks. So by the time I post this, I'm probably already on my social media break. So there. And uh, since, you know, that's going to be a few weeks without social media for me to, um, you know, just to, just for me to detoxify, det detoxify and everything. Uh, yeah, I just want to get off social media for a while and during the holy week, um, it's gonna be a good time to just get off social media and you know, focus on my relationship with God. And um, so, since I'm gonna have more time, since I won't be using social media all day anymore, or most of the day, I'm gonna share with you guys like things you can do or what I w I'm planning to do during the rest of the quarantine period without social media. So if you want to know what you can do during this quarantine period, just keep on watching. Okay, so for me, uh, one thing I plan to do, and which you guys could do also, is uh, to maybe learn something new or get back to a hobby that you lost time for. So for me, uh, there was a time that I was planning, like, you know, I was trying to learn calligraphy. Like one, like I was still in high school that time. There was like one summer break that I was trying to learn calligraphy, but then uh, I didn't like. Okay, first of all, I'm not that patient. I get really frustrated easily, so I kind of left it. But then I still have my calligraphy pens, which is actually just right here on my table. So I have here. Uh, these calligraphy pens that um, I used to practice. I actually had a notebook where I did all of my calligraphy practice, but I can't seem to find it now. So I'm just planning to maybe practice on another notebook or use uh, loose sheets of paper, scratch paper, to practice my calligraphy. Because now, like now that I have a lot of time, um, I'm actually looking forward to being able to pick up this these pens again and uh, get back to calligraphy because yeah I really like now I feel more determined to actually learn how to do calligraphy so there and then like okay like another thing is art stuff so I have this like envelope here where I have uh, coloring books and activity books like I even have this one which I had for a uh, really long time. I think like more than a year na to na sa akin. And look guys, like I barely even filled it up. Like you can just count like here I did this page. And then I don't know, you're going to have to like really go through it to find the pages that I really colored. So there and then I also have this one. This is a writing notebook. There. I know guys, parang pambata siya, diba? Like, it's for kids. But then for me, for some reason, you know, like, as a way to, for me, like, oh, as a way to, like, release stress. It's nice to do those activities for kids. I really enjoy those. Yeah, and then I have, um, then I have my colored pencils here. Yeah, for the coloring book. And, yeah, for my activities. Yeah, and then I have this activity book. <laughs> it's so funny because it's frozen themed. So, nothing like um, just random activities that, uh, that that's pretty fun for me to do. So, there, it really keeps me entertained. So, I just have them all here in this envelope. And then, yeah, uh, like, just to color, you know, just to release the artist side of me well not saying really good but like you know just to practice it oh by the way guys like 
uh, if you don't have like a coloring book but you want to color or something you can just go online and you know find those printable color um, coloring pages also another thing in relation to the art stuff I'm actually planning to uh, to study study I don't know if that's if that's the correct term but to learn how to take better pictures with my phone and also you know if I have time then maybe my camera as well because um, ever since I started using Huawei okay I started using Huawei because of that's Bella uh, she said that like you know how how Huawei phones have like the 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 their selling point is really the cameras so I want to learn how to take better pictures with my phone my phone right now is the Nova 5T my first phone I mean my first Huawei phone was uh, this one this is the Nova 3i mm, yeah I, uh, I started using Huawei because of that Bella because I have the camera but yeah um so there because sometimes it's easier to to be vlogging with a phone rather than a camera and one more thing is I always have my phone but I don't always have my camera so it's very handy then it's, it's also very handy if you have a phone that has a really nice camera if if you're into vlogging or just even if you're just into photography or anything actually this one because this was a birthday gift from my parents and then when they released the Huawei Nova 5T, I wanted it. So I saved up for it and then yeah, I got to buy it. So yeah, I think I have a video where I unboxed this phone. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll just link it down below or somewhere here on the screen. So there. Um, the thing is, here in my, my Nova 3i, I have a lot of photos here. Like um, when I took photos of my dogs, uh, photos from events. And then I have photos also uh, from my Ila Ila trip. I are here. They're mostly all here. So, um, like looking back at it, I really remembered how I had so much fun taking pictures, and being I was like really impressed with the quality of the photos despite using a phone camera. And yeah, like looking, I I did a lot of like practicing like randomly taking photos of whatever or even selfies yeah uh, and it's nice that I still have this phone because I get to look back at the photos I used to take and even the selfies so like I get to compare it with the photos I take now or the photos I will be taking now to see like if I get better or um, you know like if like from the photos I have there, I can see like how can I make it better. But of course, since we're in quarantine and we have to stay home, I'm just gonna like practice taking photos of let's say my dogs or my stuffed toys, doing flat lace with my makeup and other stuff that I can find here. So yeah, that's what I plan to do. And yeah, guys, like mm, I think that's one that's one thing that you can do also. Like try to learn something or try to improve on, on a skill that you that you want to work on like for me this is gonna be photography so there uh, also another thing is I will I'm actually reading a book right now actually I'm rereading it I already read it before um, here it, I have it here so this is the book I'm Rereading. This is uh, How to Find Your Soulmate Without Losing Your Soul by Jason and Kristalina Everett. This was a gift to me from Rodney. Uh, I talked about him in one of my videos before. So he gave me this book last December and I read it throughout the Christmas break. And uh, I'm just going back to it now. So I'm rereading it again. And I'm planning to talk about it with you guys in my future videos. Just watch out. Um, just wait till I finish this book again and then I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to share with you guys about this book and I might even be lending this to my friends and then also 
another thing that I'm gonna be doing, of course, since this quarantine affected classes, of course, I'm gonna be doing my schoolwork. So, uh, we use a uh, canvas, which is what we, we have online classes there, or that's where our prof would get to post like assignments and stuff. So, uh, so basically in canvas we have like um you can see all our subjects there and then yeah you just click on a subject that you want to go to so basically i check here for updates like uh, recently we had a lot uh i mean recently we've been having a lot of online class for my experimental psychology class so i usually check here for the announcements and the assignments so I just read through it here and then uh, when I'm gonna do the actual work, I do it on my laptop because that's much more convenient. And then, yeah, uh, I've also been submitting requirements for my clinical psychology class and also for one of my subjects, which is history of civilizations. We have, uh, it's not really classes, but then uh, there are groups that they post the reports and then we just have to like leave a comment uh, if we like our insights or questions um, for insights or questions so that we could get plus points for uh, for recitation or participation so yeah and then yeah, so basically everything for class, like all my subjects, are all here on Canvas. Of course, I have to do my schoolwork as well. I can't just be doing random stuff here at home because I'm still a student. So I still have my responsibilities as a student to do that. So um, I'm actually thankful that we have that uh, online thing because at least it gives me something productive to do. And I don't, like, you know, I, I don't get bored. So there, I guess another thing is, well another thing that I'm also going to be doing is, of course, uh, now I have more time to vlog or make videos for you guys. I'm actually tr really trying to think of more content so that I can film and yeah, uh, put out more content for you guys. Oh yeah, and if you know, if you're not really someone who would vlog or something, like it's good to give it a try. Or sometimes, you know, just take videos, but like, you know, just keep it for yourself because it's good for memories. Actually, one thing that I'm also going to be doing while I'm off social media is I'm going to be watching YouTube videos. Mm. Like, if you go to my subscription page on YouTube, I have a lot of videos that I haven't watched. Uh, I only watched some, like, uh videos of Hazel King and I've only I've watched some videos of Ra Rand Kyle and Liana Guerrero um, the gold squad I also watched them so like I actually have a lot of videos to catch up on and yeah I think that's gonna keep me entertained for the two to three weeks where I'm not gonna use my social media so there and then another thing <laughs> okay guys like Another thing that I've actually been doing is TikTok. <laughs> yeah, um, um, yeah, I've only, I didn't start TikTok because of, because of, what's this? Because of the quarantine. I started TikTok like before that, pa. Uh, so yeah, I have, yeah, I follow some youtubers as well like Lexi, uh, Ray, uh, yeah some of my friends, Nico Pascual, the Calion twins and then I also have some of my own yeah I have a few videos yeah a few it's kind of a lot already so yeah if you guys want to follow me username is right here so there yeah so yeah that's some of my plans that I'm gonna do. Another thing also that I can suggest is to maybe clean your house or maybe just 
start with your room. I'm actually planning to declutter my stuff, like clothes and old stuff that I can dispose. I'm planning to do that. Also, uh, yeah, or just like organize my stuff. You guys can do that too, especially that during school or work days, you don't really get to do that. You don't really get to fix and organize your stuff. You don't really get to clear out things. So I think now that we have time, it's a good time to uh, clear out things and you know even maybe uh, get like you know uh, remove clothes from our closet that we don't use anymore so we can just donate them to those who who would need and those who would really get to use them more. So yeah, that's another thing that I can suggest to you guys also and that I will also try to do. <laughs> So yeah, um, basically that's it. That's like that's all that I have planned and all that I can think of that you can do during this quarantine period. Uh, if you have any other ideas or you know if you've been doing something interesting over the this quarantine period, you can comment it down below as well. And yeah, so I hope this video helped you guys. So don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if, if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to always smile and spread the love. Bye!